Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy Uzoma Obalor here. And today I'm gonna take you guys through a magnificent arm workout, you feel me? Um, we're gonna hit some biceps and triceps and then um, we're gonna start with triceps first though. And thinking of a great mass building tricep exercise to start with that includes all three heads of the tricep, we're gonna have to start with the close grip bench press. So we're gonna knock that out real quick. I like to do a pyramid style of lifting. That means that I will increase the weight after each set. And when I did the closed grip bench press, what we did was uh, we did three sets building the weight, and then we got to the top of the pyramid. The top of the pyramid for me was two plates. That's when it started to get heavy for me. And then um, my form started giving away or I couldn't hit as many reps as I'd like to. That's when we got to drop the weight. So I thought it'd be cool if we did a triple drop set. Um, we took the 45 off. So we got 145 pound on each side with two 10 pound plates on each side. And what you'll do is you'll burn out, strip a 10 off, burn out, strip another 10 off, and burn out. So you get three sets, triple drop set. And bang, that's how we ended off the uh, close grip bench. <laughs> dumbbells one arm at a time I like to get them I like to get unilateral work in because it helps you because you just get to focus on one arm at a time um, a good analogy is is like imagine if you're a teacher and like three kids are raising their hand and you got to teach three kids at once it'd be much easier if one kid raised their hand and you could just talk to him and, or her and just like you know explain explain what they got to do so to me that's how I think of it one arm at a time I get to focus on one arm and just really kill it and focus on it get my full attention so what we did with for that was four sets and same thing was pyramid style. We um, started out with 25, probably went up to 30, then 35. 35 was as high as I could go, got heavy for me. We came back down the ladder, hit some 25 for some reps, I believe. Put triceps on hold for now. Um, we started with alternating dumbbell curls seated. Now for this one, I do believe we did uh, we did four, we did four sets. We did four sets, and all this was was building up the pyramid. We didn't hit like a drop set one. So we got to the top of pyramid, and then we, we were just done. We were trying to get like a, it's nice to get that heavy weight in there. You know, we worked our way up to 50 pound dumbbells. That was good. That was good. We got that blunt force trauma. You know what I'm saying? Okay, then we moved on to some easy bar barbell curls. All right, and I like to do the I like to do the curvy bar, the easy bar, because my, my grip feels a little funny with the straight bar. But this one, once again, we built up the pyramid. Started with 25 pounds on each side, and this is this that was kind of heavy for me. So once I put the 10 pounds on, and it was 35 pounds on each side, I was like, dang, this is kind of heavy. I didn't want to go any higher. So what I did was I hit that same set again. We did two sets with 35 pounds on each side, and then look, you know me, it's, it's time for that triple drop set. Took all the weight off. Put three 10 pound plates on each side, burn out, strip it, burn out, strip it, burn out, strip it. Don't save no energy when you're doing that, you're just burning out each time. Great pump, you'll get some good work doing that for sure. <laughs>
and this is something I like to do either at the beginning or the end. In this case, it was the end of our tricep workout. But a superset. We did it with the rope, we did some rope pull downs, and then we also grabbed the, uh, we grabbed the bar and did some um, tricep push downs. And then you just switch off back to back. You go hit the rope, kill it, walk over to the bar, kill it. Four sets of those. got to get back to the biceps. So I wanted to get more angles involved with the biceps. You know, we had the seated ones, bam, then we stood up and it's kind of the same movement. So I was like, let me get um, some hammer curl movement. You know, let's turn, our, let's turn our arms a little bit and we'll get some hammer curl movement. And we did that on the cables. Four sets of that, same thing. We're not thinking about um, counting them really. We, we just want to really enter that realm where it's just you and your muscles and you're just focused on squeezing, focus on contracting, stretching just feeling that pump, feeling the pain, and embracing it. Once again, we wanted to switch it up. Went to reverse curls. You know, you gotta get some reverse curls on your bicep, uh, when your bicep workouts. That's something we, we tend to like leave out, get them forearm gains, but you'll feel it real good in your biceps too. So yeah, we did um, four sets of that as well. And with that one, three sets building, three sets coming up the ladder, and then we hit a drop set at the end. Just a double drop set though. We got the 30s burned out and had the 20s on standby ready for us and grab the 20s right after we were um, done with the 30s. All right, guys, I hope you liked the workout. It was really intense. It was really intense, but I'm sure you guys can do it. So try it out at your local gym. Give it a shot. Kill your biceps. Kill your triceps. You go walk out the gym swole, man. Go walk out there with some gains. So that was it. Once again, it's your boy Uzoma Obalor with Caged Muscle. Much love. Take care. Get your gains.